It is not just your porch you need to worry about when it comes to the mail thieves. Yeah, U.S. Postal inspectors tell us thieves have broken into both a post office and a contract post office in the past week. Our Garrett Berger tells us how they did it. Locations, two dates, but the same way in. Access was gained through the rear door or the access door on the side of the buildings. In both instances, it looks like the doors were pried open. We could see workers fixing the door at this contract office in Bulverde, which was broken into sometime last night. Last week, between Wednesday night and Thursday morning, someone broke into the St. Hedwig post office. They are the first and second post office burglaries in the area in quite some time. It's been over a year. At both locations, the thief or thieves only got into the vestibule area, not the main part of the post office. But they took about 15 packages from each one, plus some mail at Bulverde. If they had stolen from just about anywhere else, it would probably be a state offense. But because they stole mail, that's a federal crime. And that means possible federal prison time. You're looking at uh, five years at least for each uh, particular instance. In addition to happening around the same time, they were in rural areas without fences or security cameras. They are similar, but we're not prepared to say whether or not they're correct. They're connected. We would be prepared to say once we have something that forensically that connects it or something a little bit stronger than coincidence. Martinez Partida said investigators were able to get fingerprints at St. Hedwig and DNA at Bulverde, but they don't have any witnesses. The Postal Inspection Service is in the process of contacting the senders and recipients of the stolen mail to see what was taken. Garrett Berger, KSAT 12 News. The Postal Inspection Service is offering up to $10,000 in each case for info that leads to an arrest and a conviction. You can contact them at 877-876-2455 if you have any information. If you have questions about your own packages or mail, you should contact your local post office.